time goes pretty fast. Oh man, it's unbelievable the journey it's been. Uh, all great things come to an end. Any sort of sentimentality or other feelings this week for you? Uh, I mean, I'll probably feel it seeing you tonight. Um, I'm really dialed in, focus on the game tomorrow, but. Obviously, uh, my last two times in the bank, it's, it's been a unbelievable journey. Been uh, a lot of ups and downs, great moments, bad moments, but uh, it's all a part of the process. And, I mean, I'm just modern. I'm excited to play one one last good time and uh, go out with a bang with my guys. I mean, obviously, if he came here originally out of high school, it would be under different coaching staff. Yeah. But everything that happened this year, do you kind of look back and say, I wish things were differently and I came here out of high school? I try not to do that uh, with anything in my journey. Uh, I mean, even all the negative stuff that I've been through, I try not to uh, look at it as if I could, I could change anything or, or more I uh, embrace it. Just like, man, I, it, it's a part of uh, what makes me unique, what makes me the person I am. And uh, everything that's happened along my journey has been uh, learning, a learning experience. Uh, so I just try to, try to focus on it, try to Stay positive with it, to be honest. So it says, as the end nears, does the sense of urgency increase, or do you try to just stay even keel about it? Oh man, I've been I've been pretty urgent since uh, the end of last year. Uh, I can recall the last game just being like, man, it's it's the last year. You gotta you gotta turn it up. You gotta do something different if you want a different result. And that's when I uh, just I mean started doing things different, working extremely hard, uh, sacrificing a lot, but. Um, I mean, as far as urgency, I mean, our urgency has pretty much been there since day one. So just want to maintain it pretty much. Uh, but obviously, if anything, uh, amp it up a little bit. From a team standpoint, five games left. You guys are still in the bubble. Every win's very important. What about where the team is mentally? Uh, it's kind of very similar. Uh, we're, all, uh, I mean, we're all believers. Uh, we all really think that. We got a really good chance to, to do something really big this year. Um, like I said, we try not to look too far ahead, but uh, I'd, I'd say we're we're ready for our matchup tomorrow. Uh, we've crossed our T's, dotted our I's, and put in the necessary work, so we're we're really excited about tomorrow. But obviously, we want to we want to finish the season the right way and uh, get as many wins as possible. See, last time out, uh, just Silva and Paula kind of had their way down low. What do you think you guys are you specifically have to do differently this time? Around? I think they scored a lot off of our uh, mistakes. I mean, we, we had a lot of ball screen breakdowns, and, uh, that, that twirl action. We had a lot of breakdowns in it. And, uh, I think we just got to guard smarter, uh, <clears throat> keep a guy in front of a guy, and that, that was pretty much something. They, they had a lot of easy stuff, a lot of layups, a lot of blow bys, a lot of blown coverages, like I said. So um, I think as long as we're matched up with them and uh, we got one person in front of another, I think we have a really good chance. I know you guys probably aren't checking brackets every day, but how conscious are you of kind of how important um, these last three weeks are to the tournament hopes? I mean, I've been pretty conscious of it since uh, Pac-12 started, um, but obviously with the, the some of the games that we've given up, uh, I'd say it's imperative that we, we finish the right way and uh, pretty much go on a streak, but I mean, you can't go on a streak if you don't take care of business one game at a time, so um, that's pretty much our biggest focus, just trying to uh, remain uh, consistent. Uh, consistency is something we've been preaching a lot, but uh, we haven't been doing it as well. And uh, that's something that we're looking at to turn up this week. I mean, obviously, you, you have a good record. I think I think you won every game in Pac-12 after you lost a, a Pac-12 game. But at some point, does it, does it kind of get, get exhausting going through this roller coaster? It gets old. It gets old. And, uh, I mean, that's something I've been preaching to the guys as a leader. It's just like, man, like, why does it take us to have this drastic loss or this unbelievable upset for us to turn it up and play the way we know we can play? And that's we've been showing film, we've been showing what it looks like when we do good and do bad. So I think guys are, I mean, I think I think we've embraced it. Uh, I don't think we really uh, we don't like the feeling of playing bad and losing games that we shouldn't lose. And uh, I mean, going forward, that's just going to be the mentality. It's just like no regrets. Uh, this is it's 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 now or never. So we gotta embrace that. So in other words, it's good to have resiliency, but probably not under those conditions. <laughs> exactly, because I mean, once you get, <clears throat> excuse me, once we get a tournament time, you know, the resiliency factor is kind of irrelevant to be honest. Because I mean, you lose a game, it's over. So you know, we're trying to approach it the same way and uh, I mean, get better each each time we're out. Do you feel too? I mean, 
kind of thinking back off now, you're saying improving, <coughs> but somebody, whether it's you stepped up at a big game on the board, scoring, or or Dort or Remy, whatever, but you know, everybody plays at that level, but this is a team that people aren't really going to want to match up again as you get deeper into the tournament. I mean, is that kind of in your guys' thought process? I mean, I know me personally. Uh, I know each and every guy in the locker room. I've been on some really good teams. I've been around. I've been to the tournament. Um, been to the NIT. I've played against some really good teams. And uh, like I said, I mean, talent-wise, and uh, you know, we're knocking on all cylinders. Like you said, it's it's a scary sight for teams. And I really, uh, I'm not really as, as worried about our seating in the tournament. I'm really not worried about where we'd be seated at, but. Uh, like I said, just know if, if we do so happen to do what we're supposed to do and get in there, uh, we're going to be a team that I don't, I don't think a lot of people are going to want to see. Because, I mean, when we're knocking on all cylinders, we're, we're a completely different team. Uh, i say, I mean, it's, it's good as any team I've seen play. You mentioned the kind of the tournament aspect of it, of the resiliency is irrelevant. Does that, I guess, scare you at all, knowing that kind of the pack full play has been this bumpy and you guys haven't been able to show like those long stretches? I mean, not necessarily. Uh, we've obviously we some of the games that we've lost haven't been ideal, but uh, I mean, you can't really look at it like that. You just gotta uh, pick up your pick up your heart and get ready for the next matchup. And, uh, like I said, if we continue to look back and uh, man, we don't want to lose any more games. You can't play like that. I mean, you gotta be so dialed in, locked in, and confident in yourselves and your and the guys in your locker room that I mean, you're you're ready to match up with anybody at any, on any given night. That's how I feel about it. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you, guys.